At some point during your selling on Amazon, you will probably run into a situation where you have a product that you think would be a great seller, but is not currently listed on Amazon. So what you need to do is add that product. And adding a product is not complicated, but just want to take a couple minutes to walk you through the process. So the first thing you do is start at your seller dashboard, go into inventory, add a product. You simply click the create a new product. Now this is a barcode or a UPC code that I bought from eBay. It is my UPC code. It's not currently being used, but you can buy UPC codes very inexpensively on eBay. Uh, I use a company called Leading Edge Codes and it costs like $7 for a hundred of them. So very inexpensive. They send it to you in an email in a text file. So, all right, we go to create a new product. And we're just going to pretend that we have, let's go with toys. Everybody likes toys. We're going to have a toy and it's a doll play set. So you select it. We need to come up with a name, the manufacturer. If you know this information, it's great to add in there. It is not necessary. You notice that only the items with the red asterisk are actually required. But this is where you put your UPC code in. And then we can either click through the tabs. Okay, and apparently, even though it did not have an asterisk, they wanted a child's age. So we're going to say that this playset is for children that are eight years and up. And since it's a dollhouse, we're going to say it's for girls. Now you can either click next or you can also click through the tabs at the top. But let's go with next. We're going to make our example skew. And we're going to say that this dollhouse costs us $9. Condition is new. We're going to price it at $20. Tax code, since it's a toy, is going to be agent tax. Yes, we want Amazon to ship this item for us. That's for FBA. If you wanted to merchant fulfill it, you would select the other bullet point. Again, we select next. This is where you would add your images. I don't actually have an image of a dollhouse, but let's say we're going to use some uh, flash wallpaper as our image. One thing I do want to point out real quick is to make your images zoomable in the Amazon catalog, they need to be 1,001 pixels on the longest side. Not 1,000, at least 1,001. You click Upload Images, and that's going to upload in the background. You don't see anything going on right here, but you notice that it did bring up a pop-up screen and that it's going to upload those images when we complete our listing. So for now, we just move on. These are your bullet points. In a normal listing, you're going to see these right under the title. So that's going to be this area right here. So whatever we put in those bullet points is what's going to appear in that section of the listing. So we're going to put it's a big dollhouse. Yeah, and use better terms than this. Made of that's ten dollars selling for twenty, so it's Okay, use whatever descriptive terms come to mind that you want customers to see first. And it's not a bad idea to look at another listing and see what kind of descriptions that they've put in there. And keep in mind that all these are searchable terms, okay? So you don't want to reuse a lot of the same words. Use this as an opportunity to maybe put in some key features and 
searchable terms. Okay, but keep customer focus, number one. Do not do a bunch of keyword stuffing in your bullet points. I just wanted to point out the fact that it is a way that Amazon uses to, or, or it is part of what Amazon uses to search for your product. So use good bullet points that are descriptive of your product. And then same thing with your description. Put in a short description, but keep in mind that it is a possibility that that is going to be used as part of your, your search term. Keywords. Uh, put your keywords in the search term. And just like most anything else, you can separate by commas. You see how many bytes are left. So you can put key and words and keywords all together. So on and so forth and fill out all of this section. I would not use long tail search terms. Just use one and two word phrases and fill out your, your keyword search. Platinum keywords are only for platinum merchants. I don't even know any platinum merchants. I'm not one. So skip that part. Don't fill it out. So the only part that we're going to use in here is the uh, the keywords in the search terms. Now, I do want to point out that there are some rules that Amazon has put in place. You will see Amazon tells you use only relative search terms. And they go through a pretty good description of what they want you to do and why. So this is a good form to read, good policy to know and have an idea of what Amazon expects from you as a seller when you create a listing and you're creating your search terms so or your keywords so you can read it here or simply put in the search bar search and browse when you search for that you're going to see it's one of the top hits using search and browse will take you to that exact same policy so you can look it up and read it for yourself become familiar with amazon's policy before creating a product but back to our keywords so we're going to fill out the rest of our keywords select next more details put in the product dimensions and the weight shipping weight any of this information that you have you should fill in but none of it is required and that's it. You would put save and finish and it's going to add that item to a shipment, send it off to Amazon, and you've now created a new product in the Amazon catalog. It's just that simple.